What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech and more reviews. And as you can tell from the channel, I have a few extra Samsung devices around now. I got my M7, my M8 monitors. I do have the S8 Plus, and I got my S22 Ultra. And I figured it was time for me to get a keyboard that was directly related to all those devices. So today, here we go. This is the Smart Keyboard Trio 500 from Samsung. And today, this is what we're gonna be talking about. So let's go. All right, so I tried to slide it in, but you cannot slide this thing because it has four rubber grips on the bottom. While we're on the back of this, it actually has, boom, batteries on the inside. Now, one thing that I can say about Samsung is they actually gave us some Energizer batteries built right into this device. So bravo, Samsung, you listen to the consumers and we really appreciate that. Now, if I could just get that back in there, perfect. So we do have rubberized grips on the bottom. It's not gonna slide across the table, but let's talk about the actual keyboard itself because I really like the feel of this keyboard and where they are going with it. Nice QWERTY keyboard has a full array of travel for my hands, pretty decent sized hands, so we got a lot of travel. But one thing I really liked about this is you can actually program different applications. Also, you can connect up to three different devices. So I have actually chosen to go ahead and connect my S22 Ultra, my M8 monitor, and my S8 Plus tablet. So I got all those things, we got shortcuts, we got everything connected, and it works seamlessly. I've had no issues while using this, and it even has a button that's directly related to DeX. So basically, when you're in any of these devices and you push that DeX button, it's gonna open up decks, no questions asked. Um, the ease of use with this thing is like really just simple, easy, instantaneous. If you got smart things on these and all your smart things apps are actually up to date, this thing is just gonna basically pick up wherever you are. Like if you open it up around your tablet, it's gonna open. If you open it up around your phone, it's gonna open. If you open it up around your monitor, if you got smart things enabled, this will work, it will connect, and you won't have any issues doing that. So the good thing about this whole setup with the Smart Trio keyboard is I can basically connect it to any of my Samsung devices. My M8 that's over here, my Tab S8 Plus that's in the middle, and then I have my S22 Ultra right there on the end. So one of the best things about this Samsung Smart Keyboard is that if you have the latest Samsung devices, you can actually enable smart things and these are gonna actually just recognize the devices. So you get prompts on the screen and all you gotta do from that prompt is hit connect or cancel. And it gives you a Bluetooth pairing request, you hit return or enter and it is connected. So. Once you get that connected to that device, now that becomes your number one device. And we wanna connect it to a new device. All we gotta do is come in here and hit scan. Hold down the number that we wanna connect it to, which is the number three. It's gonna give you a sequence of numbers and then you just pair it. So all we do now is put those sequence of numbers in. Hit enter and we are paired right here to our phone now. Simple. So same thing with our tablet, very simple, very easy. We're just gonna look at this keyboard and on the keyboard, you're gonna pick out whichever number, which we want the tablet to be number one. You just hold that number down. It goes into a pairing mode. You press connect. You put in your sequence of numbers You're gonna press enter. Once you press enter, you're good as gold. So let's just test this out. We wanna make sure we go in here. We got it working. And going to the Samsung website. So keyboard seems to be functioning pretty well. Um, now we did talk about the application buttons, which if you see them right up here, these are the three application buttons. Now, then to actually assign these app buttons that we have, we have three of them. So you just wanna open up the application that you wanna assign. 
hold that button down for about three seconds and then it has been assigned. So let's go back home using that shortcut and if we press app number one, it opens up the files. You can do the same thing for app number two as well as app number three. Pretty much app number two, I'm gonna see about assigning YouTube. Hold that down. Let's see, has been assigned. So we'll press app number one and then go back to app number two. So I think that's really convenient and I like the fact that it has those hotkeys on there so you can assign different applications. It's gonna make life a whole lot easier when using your phone as well as your tablet. So you also have that dedicated DeX button over here. If you just tap it, you'll enable DeX back there on the Samsung tablet. And if you wanna come out of DeX, you just push the DeX button again, brings you right back out. Other than that, this is a really nice keyboard. For 44 bucks, I think this is really the way to go. So what I'm gonna do is drop a link below so you can check this keyboard out for yourself. I've been using it for a little while. I've had no issues. It's nice and light. If you wanna travel with this thing, you can even travel with it. Weight on it is very minimalistic, a pound or so. No issues there. It'll slide down in any bag. You got dedicated application buttons. You actually have, boom, three devices that it can connect to, and you have a dedicated DeX button. What more can you ask for other than all the shortcuts that we have built right into this keyboard? So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I'm gonna be sure and drop a link below so you can check out the Samsung Smart Keyboard Trio 500. Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.